Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. All right, Capricorns, I've got another love reading for you. If you have been here before, welcome back, my friend. Gosh, cards are flying out. So it'll be interesting to see what they have to say. All right. Let's get these straightened out. And go for it. This is you. This is them. This is the storyline. And this is the overall here. I'm actually going to put it over here. So. You've got the Three of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Your person has the Eight of Cups, the Sun card, and the Knight of Cups. Let's get some clarifiers on what is going on here with the Three of Wands. Yeah, you're wanting to create a solid, grounded foundation that's financially ben beneficial here. You know things take time. You can't rush things. So here with this five of wands, it's arguing, uncertainty, clashing. And the clarifier on that is the ace of swords. So I, I feel like you're wanting some clarif clarification on here. With this ace of pentacles comes the ten of wands. Whatever you're experiencing here, it's really dragging you down. You feel very burdened by this. Your person here is walking away from something that does not serve them. Could be you, could be another situation. As we go, we'll get more information. Yeah, it's like they want to be the King of Cups, but what I just heard, because I am a psychic medium, if you've never been here before, is they feel like they're falling short. Interestingly here is the King of Cups. Here's the Queen of Cups uh, with the Sun card here. They want this connection with you. With this Knight of Cups, they want to offer something and they want a commitment here. You know, and flip the storyline as it resonates with yours. They definitely want a commitment between the two of you. They definitely want to offer that. And then here with the nine of swords, it's, you know, self purgatory. And what's the clarifier on that? The 10 of swords. So there's a, there's an ending, there's heartbreak here, but there's wanting to move forward. Whatever happened has happened between the two of you. has been very heavy. Let's put some distance between the two of you. You know, it's like you guys thought you were getting this, but there's a heartbreak here. Let's try to figure out what the heartbreak might be about. There's definitely a lot of love and a lot of passion. Maybe somebody was wanting to, you know, show up more than they were. This person might have a low self-esteem. You know, because earlier when I had said that I'd gotten that they were falling short or they felt they feel like they're falling short. Yeah, they're with this Queen of Wands here is. <clears throat> sorry about that with the Queen of Wands with this. Eight of Swords here. It's like overthinking self purgatory not thinking that you're worthy. And it might be you, it might be them, it might be both of you. It's like your person does want this love. And again, switch the storyline as it reads for you. Let's see, let's switch cards here. Guys, give me more information here about what is going on. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, 
you know, it could feel that you're carrying most of the burden here of the relationship. You're waiting. Like I said, you're waiting for something to grow. The person just might have really low self-esteem, but they do want the same things. And I think that's probably where it's confusing to you. Or they might have even walked away because they don't think they're worthy enough. So your person needs to do some healing here. Maybe you guys were even, you know, this is the second reference here to marriage, commitment. They want to offer this. They want the happiest card in the deck. They want this, but they're walking away from something that they want, which is interesting. So, you know, it's got to be that, that old self-esteem. You know what I mean? So let's see here. What is it that is going on with the Capricorn's person? Dark Knight of the Soul. It's right here. So this is the second reference to it. You know, and of course, when one's left out in the cold, the other is left out in the cold too. What is it that the is the overarching feeling from your person? Refocus and forgiveness. Yeah, I feel like they don't feel good enough. So, you know, refocusing is act could be walking away, which is reiterating what's happened here, which is so bizarre because they really do want this, you know, and it's left you broken heart. It's left them broken hearted. It was almost, it could have been some sort of sabotaging too, sabotaging the relationship. And here it is again. They do feel that you guys are a tribe. You have been together before, you know, each other, you know how to communicate with each other, but this person has what I have just heard is they have um, either created a block for themselves or in their inner world they've hit a block where they're going to have to do some healing to be able to move forward. Yeah, they might need some solitude and they've created this barrier. But I can understand why you're so confused. Summertime. Now, guys, tell me more about that. I'm hearing in the summertime you are going to be um, experiencing more clarity from this person. Right now, they need some solitude to kind of work on this barrier here. Because this, to me, is representing their own inner world. what they're going to have to work through to be able to have what they want because that's what they, they want. Now, karmic partner, give me more information about that, guys. For some of you, they might go to a karmic partner or they were already involved in a karmic partner. And this could just be anyone that's not you, right? It doesn't necessarily, you know, mean that it's actual karmic, but it could be, you know, because if you've known someone in the past, of course, whether it's good or bad, you're going to have karma. You're going to have experiences that you guys didn't agree upon. So I think this is a little bit, you know, of a misnomer here where it's like, oh, the karmic partner is the evil partner. No, no, it's not. It's just a lesson that needs to be learned. Now, guides, give me more information about that. And that, of course, isn't going to be for everyone. Your person is needing to work through their own inner karma here with this barrier. Because what's on the bottom of the deck, they want this union. They want it. But they're going to need to do some healing. And I know that's a pain in the ass, you know, but it's just like, unfortunately, it is what it is. Now, what has caused them to force this pause here? What is the situation here? Yeah, they're feeling that deep connection with you. And they, they really don't think they're worthy. It's something with childhood. I think they were talked badly to, you know, like, oh, you're stupid. Oh, you're dumb. You won't have this. You won't have that. Why do you think you deserve this? It's a deep core wound. Now, if this is resonating with you, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm hearing even with the holidays coming up there, it's almost like they want to be with you. They want to 
rectify this. They want reconciliation. But they don't even know how because they can't find the freaking doorknob. And I've never noticed that before. There's no doorknob. So within themselves, they've got to find this thing to equal themselves out. I know, joy to the world, right? Let's see. What else does the Capricorn need to know here? Okay, two of them came out, but they do not want them. What is it that the Capricorn or the Watcher needs to know here? In the meantime, you need to work on you. You need to work on your passion. You need to work on your healing because no one has come here without needing to do some healing, inner healing. I'm hearing something about, interestingly, here's the strength card. You're going to have to have strength. That there's something about a family member that you're going to have to deal with. Um, something about treading lightly. Um, choosing your battles wisely. This isn't with your person. This is something else. So if you feel like you're, you're in conflict with someone, don't push your thoughts or needs for healing upon them because it will not be um, received well. So choose your battles, okay? Anything else on that, guides? Yeah, they're just saying with this one, you know, that's not only with your person here, but for yourself. Choose if you want to be yourself or a lion or lioness. Choose the gentle route. What else does the Capricorn or Watcher need to know? They're, set, they're telling me with this um, Four of Wands, which is, you know, Twin Flame Soulmate Celebration Connection. It's the 1111 card. It, um, there's something major will happen in the summer. I'm hearing that they will have a breakthrough. And it's almost like either they're going to contact you or you're going to like suddenly be in each other's faces all of a sudden. I can, I can almost hear the conversation where someone's like, oh, I was thinking about you and I was going to give you a call. But it was almost like, you know, you guys run into each other somewhere. Yeah, and it's going to kind of re-spark things. And for this, for this situation, the, the flame never really went out. You know, here is the grand gesture of the Knight of Cups. An offer. And justice will be served. Nice. What I heard for some of you is it could be late spring, early summer. Now, if you're wanting to know, you know, more details about your specific situation, go ahead and check out the description box. Currently, I am doing private readings. Yeah, so for right now, you're going to be hanging there trying to gain a new perspective, trying to keep yourself in the loop on what you need to do and how you can do it. You know, here it was showing that you're looking to the future. You're waiting for your ship to come in. You're, having, you're going to have to be patient, work on your finances in the meantime so this union can come, but there's healing that has to happen. You know, and to stop the bickering, it's to go into solitude. For your person they need this pause because I feel that if this was to continue as it was or as it is it, it would actually turn out badly so you know if they've been distancing themselves let them distance themselves you know and you continue doing you because regardless if this person comes back or not you need to be the happiest version of you for you you know, do that healing, go do some yoga, meditate, you know, work on you. Now guides, anything else? Nope. All right, you guys, I hope that that was very helpful. And I will see you guys next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Bye-bye for now.